and welcome to this second video uh, looking at health and fitness and today we're going to be finishing off looking at key terms and so we finished off by looking at um, strength on the last video and today we're going to finish off going through some of the other health related fitness and some of the other skill related fitness um, key terms and so the first one is speed and so it's the rate at which the bodies move from one place um, to another so rate you can equate with speed um, and so obviously this is related to any any form of event where you're having to move quickly um, change direction for instance um, so it's quite an apparent one um, the next key term uh, muscular endurance so this is the repeated contraction and relaxation of a single muscle or a group of muscles and therefore causing a limb to repeat the movement over time um, and so it's linked to how well the body um, can get oxygen to those working muscles and so if you don't have a very good uh, muscular endurance then obviously you won't be able to supply those tissues with enough oxygen and that you won't be able to continue that level of exercise um, for long periods of time and so uh, the word endurance basically means for the length of time that you can keep going for um, the next key term is flexibility and flexibility very simply is the range of movement around a joint and so obviously we can link in flexibility um, the reason why it's useful is you know you look at an event like gymnastics or um, track and field obviously you need good flexibility in order to be able to perform the routine or be be able to hurdle correctly or, or to jump correctly um, power um, is the rapid application of muscular force it's the combination of spank, um, strength and speed and so effectively it's how quickly and how large the contraction um, that you can produce will determine how powerful you are so for instance cyclists will measure their um, power output, how quickly they can turn the pedals effectively and how much energy they put into um, the crank as well will determine their level of power output. Um, obviously if you don't have the prerequisite power in order to do an event you can obviously end up with producing injuries so an obvious one would be weightlifting. If you don't have the power for that then obviously the, the consequences for that are clear if you're having to lift a heavy weight above your head. Um, some other, so some of the skill related fitness components, so these are agility, um, this is the ability to change direction at speed and so you can think about um, a rugby player being able to move off either foot, um, balance, a state of stability achieved by keeping the centre of mass over a base of support, so obviously if you link this to something like um, performing on a beam in gymnastics, it's a good one, coordination, um, a balanced and effective interaction of movements or body actions. So if you've got a complex task that you need to perform something like bowling a ball in cricket, obviously coordination is an important one. And reaction time, the time taken from the stimulus um, to the start of the response. And so obviously uh, the quicker your reaction time, the better it will be if you're involved in a um, sprinting event. So going off the gun, if it's, if it's swimming or if it's any event um, that's specifically um, short periods of time, then you need a quick reaction time.